I'll introduce a little bit different, um, but, but I had to walk to him to get approval first because I didn't want to do things that, you know, would lead him to come and hold me by the collar. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce this one differently. So, 46 years ago, a young boy was born in Watsomba, uh, Mutasa. I don't even know where that is, but nonetheless, 46 years ago, a young boy was born in Watsomba, Mutasa, in Chimurio village. This young boy attained his education in the village, in Mutasa, Watsoma. And he kept moving. I shall not belabor on where he then went to attain his education, but the most important thing is this boy that I speak of kept moving. And you know what? This boy is not a boy anymore. He's a man, he's got a family, and he's here with us today. So ladies and gentlemen, help me to welcome our next speaker, our 46 year old, I just figured that out, Mr. Mtepa, the deputy director of the National Public System of the Thank you very much. Uh, I'll be very different. I will not read the verse, because I think we are all educated on the verses. If it was in a church setup, I will be collecting the, the offerings. <laughs> so we can have the offering basket in front here. And as you know, the one who collects the offering is the one who makes sure that it's distributed accordingly. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, the speakers were here before. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to recognize the, the Master of Ceremony. Thank you very much for introducing me in a very interesting way. Let me recognize uh, the Chief Executive Officer of Econet Wireless, Mr. Douglas Mboweni, who is not with us today. I also want to recognize Mr. Innocent Magaya, the General Manager for Econet Wireless, uh, HR, Human Resources. In my bank, I always joke that uh, make sure you remain human resources. Not human remains. <laughs> when you are jurisdicting over people who don't do any work, we become remains rather than resources. I also want to recognize the Chief Executive Officer for Cassava, Mr. Eddie Chibi, who is with, not with us today. Also want to recognize uh, the Chief Executive Officer of Stewart Bank, Dr. Lance Mamondiani, represented by Mr. Tapera Mshoriwa. Also want to recognize the general manager for marketing, Mr. Takadi. Thank you very much for the opening remarks. I also want to recognize uh, general manager Echo Cash, uh, Mrs. Natalie Jabangu Morris. And uh, also recognize all Kasava, Stuart Bank, senior management and staff, distinguished guests, members of the media, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen and also want to recognize my own team who are with us today. Before I begin my speech, I, I noticed something very exciting. Everyone who I recognized is a CEO, except myself, Natalie, and the, the two others. So if we were allowed, we could turn ourselves into CEOs today and change our titles. I would have loved the one different title if people would call me president of the national payment system, I think I would like that. <laughs> but maybe it might need the approval further up that I can be called that name. President with a small p. <laughs> it is my pleasure and privilege, ladies and gentlemen, to welcome you all to yet another milestone by EcoCash, which comes at the time when, as a country, we are making efforts and strides towards a cultural shift from a broadly cash-based economy to a cash-light society. To this end, I would like to congratulate EcoCash for coming up with the swipe into EcoCash product and function in an innovative way of cashing into the wallet without the need to use the physical cash. And it can be used by the bank customers in our vicinity. This innovation will certainly bring convenience to the banking com community who now have the convenience and the alternative of a way of making funds into their wallets. Over the years, in line with the policy of the central bank and in line with our drive, we have witnessed collaboration between banks and mobile network operators and other key stakeholders and players 
which has culminated in the integration and interoperability of systems for the convenience of the transacting public. What is interoperability? Interoperability is when one system owned by another network is able to be used by the other network and yet these systems don't talk to each other in terms of they are not owned by the same people but they be able to talk to each other. And when you talk about interoperability, you cannot run away from the road network. If you look at the roads which are in this country, Port Road is there, some of them, but I know they are being paged now. You find that in that road, there is traveling of passengers who are on their own two feet. I think the crawling as well can be happening in those roads. I've seen uh, taxis, I've seen buses, I've seen motorcycles, I've seen cyclists, I've seen wheelchairs, I've seen everything on that road. And even in modern countries, you even see the rail, rail going through the, those roads at the same time. <coughs> what that is interoperability. It's the same road, but everyone has got the rules, has got the ways of doing things, and they all travel on that same road. That's interoperability. I thought I could highlight what is interoperability because I've seen a lot of times maybe people mistake interoperability for something else. The Swipe into EcoCash initiative will go a long way to promote convenience and opportunities to share the joys of developing and modernizing our national payment systems. I'm aware that the traditional caching uh, method involved people obtaining physical cash and then proceeding to an EcoCash agent or to any agent to do a cash deal and process that that, that was cumbersome, costly, and time-consuming. And especially in this uh, current environment, it can be a mission impossible because the cash is not there. As the central bank, we are glad that swiping to echo cash rise on Zim switch enabled point of sale devices, which resonates well with our policies, particularly with regard to the issue of interoperability, which will go a long way in bringing efficiency in our ecosystem. These developments, ladies and gentlemen, are in line with the recently issued guideline on retail payment systems and in instruments whose objective is to promote the efficiency, effectiveness, and stability of electronic payment systems. The guidelines are also aimed at enhancing the users, participants, and other key stakeholders' confidence in the usage of electronic payment systems. And these guidelines are on our reserve bank website. Ladies and gentlemen, as a country, we continue to encourage the use of electronic means of payment and EcoCash, amongst other payment system providers, have brought much needed convenience to the transacting public by making sure that Zimbabwe boosts of a growing network of payment services. It is noteworthy that uh, transacting is becoming less manual and more efficient, while cash handling has become less fashionable as the concept of electronic transactions gets into gets more acceptable by the transacting public. In this regard, we have witnessed tremendous growth where aggregate year-to-date national electronic payment system transactions continue to trend upwards for the past five years. And it is exciting to note that it now stands at about 65.7 billion, representing an increase of 6% compared to the same period in 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, it would not be complete for me as a regulator to conclude this address without mentioning the aspect of risk, and I quote, and I will not quote a verse. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst usability is key for payments, security is a necessary condition for people to use them. Balancing usability and security is one of the keys to a healthy relationship between the original equipment manufacturer and end users. And these were words said by uh, Pen Ning, uh, Vice President of Engineering of SAMHSA, at a mobile money event this year. Digital innovations pose significant in inherent risks to the financial services sector. Like any other risk, risks emanating from digital financial services should be adequately managed. And the clarion call is for all operators, all payment system providers, and banking institutions to make sure that issues of risk are always managed diligently. In conclusion, as monetary authorities, we remain committed to the preservation of public confidence and the achievement of optimum efficiency in the payment system and shall continue to provide the necessary oversight so as to ensure that all payment systems operate with our maximum support and guidance. 
Ladies and gentlemen, join me once again in congratulating EcoCash on the successful launch of this exciting and memorable innovation, Swipe into EcoCash. With these few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, on my own behalf, on behalf of the people of Watsomba, <laughs> on behalf of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe and my NPS team, I feel greatly honored and privileged to declare the Swipe into EcoCash officially launched. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.